So some of you guys are probably wondering why I'm so addicted to diamond painting, but I love it because it's therapeutic and um, I'm able to also, it's clearly, it brains all over the place, but I'm also able to take online courses and listen to audiobooks and different podcasts. And so, you know, if I were just doing, let's say online courses, I probably wouldn't my brain wouldn't be able to focus um and because of diamond painting i've been able to get through like 20 audiobooks listen to like four or five different podcasts and i've done about like eight to ten online courses already so thanks to diamond painting i'm educating myself So each diamond kit comes with everything that you need. It comes with the canvas, obviously, comes with your drills, comes with a pen, tray, and wax. Um, sometimes some companies will throw in, you know, something special in there, but you really don't need much. Okay, so before I actually show you what I've been working on, I need to explain for those of you that want to try this. Um, this is a legend, and with the legend comes, you know, your simple and the DMC color. So the DMC color is basically the color of the rhinestone, but we don't call them rhinestones or diamonds, we call them drills. So here's the legend, and if you notice, there's like an M, W, you know, you get it. It's pretty self-explanatory. And this is what I've done so far. This has only been like three days. So I like to mix and match my drills. I have some drills that I've collected over the last like six months that I've been doing this and I love a good sparkle so some of these companies sell like they're called AB um, drills AB stands for Aurora Borealis I think and that's where you get like that extra shine and sparkle um, and I like to mix and match so you know 80% of these drills that you see are from a DIY moon shop and each canvas, when you buy a kit, it comes with everything that you need. All right, I'm gonna show you guys my favorite tools that I love to use when I diamond paint, and you'll be able to get everything in my bio. If you click there, you'll see links to um, the different tools that I love. Let's get started. Okay, so my favorite place to store all of my drills for the specific painting that I'm doing is this company, and it's called Elizabeth Warden, and tiny container I think bead storage tray this is perfect because it really does keep everything in and you have to be able to store your drills and label them appropriately to the canvas because a lot of these colors as you can see here are very similar like these three right here another place where I love to store my drills um, is this company Craftmates and it's basically a binder you yeah, open up the binder and voila there you have it. So basically, these are very durable. When I travel, which I do quite a lot, I um, do like to bring my diamond paintings with me, even if I probably don't even have the time to do anything other than work. But what I love about these is how there's a lock. This thing, I love it so much. It's awesome. It's like a little briefcase. You open it up, you've got all these cylinders that you can store your drills in and um, if you know you're traveling let's say for a couple weeks this is perfect to bring with you okay and here you have it all three of my favorite places to store my drills so a lot of people say that square drills are you know a little bit more it, it looks better i guess because you don't get to see you don't see spaces in between each drill so like these are circular ones so the circular ones um, are a lot easier, I think, because you don't have to be so precise. Okay, so when it comes to your pens, there's so many different pens. You buy these separately, um, except for this one. So for beginners that, you know, just want to test this out, just stick to the kit. What you have to do is you dip your pen, like so, in the wax and pretty aggressively so that the wax can get into your, into the hole right here. And then you lightly just press on it and you pick up your drill. Then you put it onto your canvas. So another cool tool, I mean, it's not that cool, it's just this, but I like to use is this triangular thing. 
another Amazon steel. And what this does is it straightens, straightens it. With this though, what's great about this, sometimes your drills will pop. Now it just depends on the company you go with because obviously some companies are better than other companies. But I still like to just press on my canvas with all when all the drills are placed and just to make sure that they don't go anywhere. I'm excessive, I <laughs> tend to go a little out of control when it comes to buying accessories. Um, but this light board that you see underneath this, let's see if I turn this off. There's the diamond painting without the light board. So it's, uh, it does help. It's actually shinier without the light board, you'll see here. But when I turn it back on, this is great for when you're working. But what really changes my life is this guy, this magnifying LED glass. It is amazing because you know, obviously look how small this print is, you would get cross-eyed. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I frame. A lot of people, they actually use like a board and they wrap their um, their painting around it, but I like to actually frame mine. I had uh, Matt kind of uh, make the cardboard that normally is brown, he painted it black. It's hard to find sometimes the exact, like perfect dimensions, um, but that's the picture I'm about to frame. I'm gonna use this little knife here. Make sure underneath, by the way, you have a cutting mat so you don't cut through your desk. Ha ha! Yes, I did it! There we go, all framed up. Okay, so this is the final product. Voila, got my frame on Amazon. You can get everything on Amazon.